Hi, this is Daniel Scrivener here with a quick preview of our next Great Books Distilled episode, which comes out tomorrow. Now, in it, we're going to do something brand new, which is a book summary. So going forward for Great Books Distilled, we're going to do two things. We're going to continue to share, like we always have, incredible one-on-one conversations with some of the world's best-selling authors that have written some incredible books. And we're going to continue to do that across fields. You know, looking at the books we've done historically, we've profiled books that founders have written. We've profiled also books about Norwegian explorers, Silence in the Age of Noise, about the messy middle by Scott Belsky, about the product development and creative process. So we've tended to go all over the map. The majority of what we'll be covering on Great Books Distilled going forward will still continue to be business and investing books. So we're going to cover everything from all of the annual letters by people like Nick Sleep, Constellation Software, Warren Buffett. I'm also going to cover books like Poor Charlie's Almanac. I'm going to cover books like this one on the warrior ethos, which might seem like a little bit of a tangent. So we're going to continue to go all over the map, but we're going to do one-on-one conversations with authors as well as book summaries. So what is tomorrow's book summary? Well, it's The Warrior Ethos by Stephen Pressfield. And it's a deep historical examination of the values and ethics of warriors throughout history, from the ancient Spartans to Japan samurai to Alexander the Great, and how these values can be applied to the battles we each fight. We all struggle daily to find and defend our sense of purpose, to show up as our best selves, and to overcome obstacles we face in our own pursuits. In that struggle, there's much we can learn and apply from the world's greatest warriors and warrior cultures. I think there's an incredible amount to learn from this book. Stephen Pressfield, if you're not familiar with him, has written some incredible, incredible books. Nonfiction books like The War of Art. He's written screenplays. He did The Legend of Bagger Vance, which I believe won an Oscar. And he's done a number of books about warriors and about war. External and internal wars, ancient and modern ones, real wars from history and imagined ones. One of his books that was actually the inspiration for me reading The Warrior Ethos is The Gates of Fire. It's my favorite book of all time. I think it's also the best book ever written on the 300 Spartans that were sent to fight and die against the Persian emperor, King Xerxes. It's like the movie 300, just much, much, much better. So that's what we're going to be covering tomorrow. It's the warrior ethos. And then the other kind of piece of this is going forward. We're going to do a lot more book summaries. This is the first one. And when we have authors on, we're going to try to release two episodes around the same time. One will be a book summary of the book that we're talking about with the author. So that'll effectively be the singular source for what did the author write and what's interesting to take away and remember from that book. Then we're also going to do uh, one-on-one interviews with the authors where we get into the backstory, we get into why they wrote the book, we get we get into much more nuanced con- context around what's in the book, we talk about the process of writing it, we talk about how we can apply it in our lives. And so the hope is, like everything that we're doing, this is a great way of giving you more value, saving you time, and compressing really interesting stuff that we think more people should read and be exposed to into a short, easy-to-consume episode. So tomorrow's episode again, The Warrior Ethos by Stephen Pressfield. It's our first book summary.